As I was figuring out how to make the engine mounts, well, I started working on the passenger side engine mount. I made a whole bunch of cardboard templates and I tried to, you know, cutting and taping stuff together and measuring angles and trying to, you know, figure out how I could go on top of an engine mount and go over it and brace and triangulate and bolt to the block and all this other stuff. So using my cardboard templates, I was able to kind of, kind of rough up a design which I then utilized to, to plan out some parts that I was able to send to my 3D printer. And I was able to, to print up these parts in plastic and I was able to kind of see how they fit together and, uh, you know, trying to use like a tab and slot construction to, to get it all, to get it all built so that I could get these and, you know, this will go onto the engine mount and then bolt onto the, the engine block with the holes on the side. And then I tweaked the design some more and I uploaded the files to an online laser cutting facility. And today, just got a package that is nice and shrink wrapped and steal all of the pieces that I made. So I'm going to open it up and see if uh, some of them fit together. So I got these from a place online called Send Cut Send. You send them your file, they cut it, and they send it back. And this is uh, nice laser cut edges. This is all um, 3 16 uh, thickness steel. And yeah, it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of little edges to cut out here. All right, that's the fast way to get into these pieces. All right. Ooh, nice. Nice and clean looking. It's a good sign. It fits over the, the mount and the holes line up. Excellent. Excellent start. So let's see, so this goes like that, and this piece with the bridge goes on top, ooh, ooh, that fit nicely, ah. oh, but I'm going to have to actually get this cross brace in first, this is going to go like that, interlock with this one, Oh, I think I should have to put these two together first. Let's see, does this one fit? This doesn't. Oh, I have this backwards. Look at me. I made some of the slots wider and narrower than others, so there's one correct way to assemble it. You cannot misassemble it. And this side piece goes on. Ooh, that's nice. And then, let's see, this way, this way, this way, nope, this way. All right, all right, you stand back up there. Uh-huh. And then this little guy, does it go this way? Nope, this way. Yes, wow. Look at that. I feel like I've built a miniature bridge. And it's um, hmm, pretty heavy for what it is. And it's certainly going to be pretty, pretty sturdy, pretty stout. So this should bolt right up to the, uh, to the block. And go over the mount like that. And I've uh, made holes in this slot here for the, the power steering pump. Should be able to mount on that and pivot to tighten the belt. And I've added a few extra holes on the back side here um, to make a bracket to support the turbocharger on the back side. But this is, uh, I'm impressed. It's pretty triangulated. Like, uh, 
I'm gonna weld this up and it should be it should be real sturdy but um, the idea was to kind of do the tab and slot construction so that it would kind of self hold everything in place while I weld right you know I can tack it and uh, it's gonna kind of hold its orientation with everything and, uh, yeah I'm, uh, I'm pleased I'm super excited so next step I guess is to, is to weld it up I'm totally happy with my prototype for the uh, passenger side engine mount, the right side engine mount so far. There's a few little things that I still want to adjust, so I'll make some design changes. Um, and I also want to, you know, of course, fit it once I have the adapter plate made and I can get a better sense for the location of the engine in the engine compartment. But overall, yeah, it just came out super cool looking. It looks neat. It was easy to assemble, it was easy to weld, it took almost no filler rod to weld because of the tab and slot construction. Um, I have the, the mounting there for the, the power steering pump with an access hole so that you can reach the, uh, that lower bolt through that, through that hole in the back bracket. I've included some holes for um, a, a bracket to help support the, the turbocharger. Um, and then I've got the adjustable uh, slot there for the uh, for the pump in the front and the, uh, the the pulley lines up just where I want it uh, it's I think it's kind of loose right now but it's um, I think I'm real happy with the, the pulley alignment and uh, yeah the only thing I had to do was um, there's a, a little bolt that holds the indexing for the the uh, low pressure tube on the pump I just had to undo that bolt and rotate that a little bit and then with the washer just bolt it back down because it's an o-ring seal um, but yeah otherwise I uh, I'm really pleased with that mount um, uh, send cut send did the laser cutting for me and they did a great job they were fast I sent it about a week ago and uh, now here's the part is in my hand so I'm uh, I'm super pleased now I'm just waiting for, for more parts and then uh, continue, continue with the fitting and the design. But for now this was, a, this was a, a fun exercise to go from cardboard to plastic to steel. <laughs>